What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I wanna to talk to you about the number one thing, the hardest thing that you will have to overcome when it comes to running a Shopify dropshipping business. It's something that I'm yet to hear anybody else in fact talk about, but it's really important and will make the difference between a business that fails and a business that succeeds. And what I'm talking about is trust. And this is trust with your customers. So back in the day, I say back in the day when I first started six years ago, the amount of people drop shipping was a lot less and the amount of people advertising on Facebook was a lot less. So what this basically meant was that customers were less accustomed to a higher quality business or a higher quality ad and therefore the standards weren't as high. So to give you a self example of this, um, if we take a look at this product page here, I've removed the logo, but it's from my very first Shopify store. I've documented this in past YouTube videos, so I won't give you the entire story now, but this is the product page that essentially made me my first 100,000 pounds. Going through this today, just to point out some of the things that you just wouldn't get away with um, by today's standards and how competitive things are today. Um, number one is the price. Ignore the fact that this has the Debutify theme on it. Back then it was called just the Debut theme. The free original theme from Shopify was called Debut. This is the paid Debutify theme, which I've installed because I was doing some examples for tutorials and things. But basically this is in essence, the product page that made me my first 100,000 pounds. So just to go through the sorts of things that you just wouldn't get away with today is number one, the product price. To sell a product for 10 pounds in today's climate, certainly on Facebook, is gonna be really difficult to do because it would mean acquiring customers for around five pounds, which you used to be able to do sort of five, six years ago. At least for me today, it's impossible to do. Number two is the product images. They're just terrible. Like this one here is just a generic stock image from an AliExpress supplier with a blue background, which has absolutely no relevance. They're also different size images, so they're jumping up and up and down the page, just not very professional at all. Um, and then the next thing as well, which is quite shocking actually, it was actually shocked myself when I first saw this because I haven't seen this page in such a long time and it was just so basic. So at the top, free shipping on all Orders, ever struggle to keep your dog in one place while traveling in the car. So kind of in its essence, the strategy is still the same today. However, it's just a more improved and more kind of methodical strategy that actually works today. The same sort of information, but the way you put it across and the way your customers consume it is gonna be slightly different. But as we can see, really basic. There's no pictures of actually how this works. No pictures of it actually on a dog's harness or in a car. There's no gifts to engage the customer and keep them on. They're really kind of amateurish and colorful trust badges and this weird 30 day money back guarantee at the bottom of the page. There's no product reviews either. So it was a lot easier five or six years ago drop shipping and you still can make drop shipping work today. I don't want to be a deterrent for anybody watching this video. You 100% can and you can get results super fast. You just have to do things differently. And the biggest thing for me over those years that has changed is that trust hurdle which we now have to get over. And the reason for this in my opinion is because as more and more people have started to drop ship and drop ship with such low standards and not fulfill their orders and customers have been burnt, they've had their fingers burnt and lost their money. Customers nowadays are a lot more savvy to shopping online and they're a lot more cautious as well. When they come across a Facebook ad, naturally their defenses are going to be up and there's certain kind of punches in which you have to throw as a business to knock those defenses down and convert that customer, that visitor or that viewer of your ad into a customer. So in this video, I'm gonna go through seven different things that you must be doing to help do that, to overcome those barriers that the customers have to make them trust you. Because ultimately, if somebody doesn't trust you and your business, they're not gonna give you their credit card information. They're not even gonna buy through you using PayPal. They're just gonna leave your website and try and find your product elsewhere. So number one is that Facebook ads are just too generic. Too many people are using really basic platforms like viral e-com ads or just taking existing content from other dropshipping businesses or other suppliers on AliExpress. Now, whilst you still can do that and make it work, you need to include that as well as add to it. And when I say add to it, I mean mainly 
having real people, human beings, faces, people talking in your Facebook ads. If you can get somebody talking in those first few seconds with your product in hand, in vision, on screen, them talking about the product, showing how the product works, that's gonna greatly increase the engagement rate, it's gonna greatly increase how long the video ad people watch it, and it's gonna greatly increase the amount of people who click it and also trust you, because if there's a real person in an actual ad, and not just different kind of scenes of what looks like stock footage and just random music with captions, if there's an actual real person, then your business looks more professional and it looks more legitimate and therefore people are gonna trust you. You can also implement this strategy on your website using a tool called Placeit. If you go to placeit.net, I'm not affiliated with them, it's just genuinely a great tool. I pay for it myself and I use it quite a lot. So this is point number two, is to use placeit.net. What you can do, I'll put on the screen now, um, just kind of like a quick summary of what you can do. There's all these different designs and things you can do up top. Basically what you do is you upload your logo and you can put your logo on many different things. And one of those things is t-shirts. So on your homepage, you could have an image coming up to Christmas like these two people here, and it could be t-shirts with your logos on, and you could give across the kind of representation that this is your customer service team and you can contact them, or should you wanna contact our business, and then link to your contact us page. But just by having real people on your website lets people know there's real people behind the business. It's a professional business and they will trust it. Leading on from this, you've got to have your contact information on your store as well. You've got to have a contact form. You've got to have an email address, a custom email address, a branded email address that matches your website. So yourwebsite.com. So it could be support at yourwebsite.com, hello at, info at, whatever it may be. You've got to have a phone number. Don't worry about putting your mobile number. You can, there's services out there. If you do a search for business telephone number, you can get them very cheaply. You haven't got to sit by the phone all day long either. You can have it go straight to answer phone with a pre-recorded message saying we're busy right now, leave a message and we'll get back to you. You should also have a physical address in my opinion, whether this is a virtual address, a PO box, just by having a physical address lets people know that you're a legitimate business. You've got a physical premises where you run your business operations from. And again, it just comes across as more professional and more legitimate. If you're a registered business as well, put your registered business number on there. And again, people can see that you're a legitimate lawful, done everything by the book, proper and real. And if there are any comebacks for the customer, then they know they're gonna be dealt with properly because you're a professional business. And again, that will just all translate into more trust from the customer. And again, it will separate you from all of the other competition too. It will be a breath of fresh air, trust me. The amount of people that I see that don't do these basic things that I'm going through in this video, when somebody does come across your store, they'll just feel so much more ease and relaxed. And like I said, it'll be a breath of fresh air for most people. Number five is your delivery times. Don't hide them and don't lie about them either. If it's gonna take one to two weeks, put it's gonna take one to two weeks. If you're upfront and honest with your customers, they won't have any problem about it. The odd customer will, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get zero customer complaints because even the best companies in the world do, even Amazon get customer complaints, but be upfront and honest about it rather than try and hide it. Any unanswered questions like that, the customer isn't gonna hang about to find out the answers. They're just gonna go elsewhere. Next, we have engagements and comments on Facebook posts. Now, obviously this can be a difficult one to build up in the beginning. But what you can do is you can run engagement campaigns on Facebook to very quickly build up those likes and love hearts and those sorts of reactions. And then what you need to do is you need to gather all of your friends and family, get send them some pictures of the product and get them to post pictures of that product and say how happy they are with it on your posts, on your Facebook ads, so that when other people come across them, it looks like to them they're real customers. And in turn, it's gonna look like they're your past customers that have received the product and are happy with it. Obviously, do not use this strategy to mislead people. Make sure you're running a legitimate professional business and fulfill on your promises. Number seven is having a really strong guarantee on your website. Now, don't just go for the boring, generic, 30-day guarantee like everybody else does. I've been reading a book recently, rereading it. I've read it once already. It is called $100 Million Offers by Alex Hormozzi. It's a brilliant book. One of the strategies he talks about in there is having a custom guarantee, but naming it really something quite peculiar or something personal, or something rememberable from the 
visitor. So when the visitor reads it, they're going to be like, oh, that's different. And they're actually going to remember it. And the studies that he talks about actually shows that increased the conversions for his business. So do this on your website. An example of this is if you're selling dog toys for Labradors or German Shepherds, it could be instead of just a 30 day guarantee, it could be an anti-destruction German Shepherd guarantee for 30 days or 30 day anti-destruction or just word it in such a way. So one that I've used in the past is a swim with sharks guarantee. And what that would be is that if the customer wasn't willing to swim with sharks to keep our products, we would just refund them their full amount, no questions asked. And what we found in our businesses was it really helped because they've never ever seen that guarantee elsewhere. It's having a bit of fun and it makes it more rememberable. What it also shows is confidence in the product too. If we're willing to bet that somebody would be happy to swim with sharks just to keep our product, it shows that we're really confident ourselves in our product. And again, it just helps with building that trust with our customers. And so with that being said then guys, that is the seven top tips for helping overcome that hurdle of making your customers trust you or making your visitors more importantly trust you so that they then become customers. Make sure you put these tips into action. They'll definitely make a difference for your business. And when they do, make sure you come back and let me know too. I always love to hear from people after they've implemented information in my videos and let me know how it helps you. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Drop a like on the video if you've stayed with me this long and I'll see you in the next one.